Hey folks, Steve here. Just got my floor, uh, just got my room joists in, and I filmed some of it, so I may this may just be part of that video. But I realized as we were taking, uh, we took some uh, actual tape measure measurements, and then I used, grabbed uh, laser tape. This is a Bosch Professional, and I also have a Bosch Blaze, $140 or so. This is about $100. And we were testing those out, comparing them to actual measurements with the tape measure, just to make sure that we trusted those. Now, I trusted mine, which is the Blaze. But I bought my wife the Professional, because she does a lot of uh, design stuff, and she needs to take measurements for kitchen layout and all that. And so uh, she didn't know if she pr trusted hers or not. So we were able to verify with both of ours, with a tape, all these measurements. And so I think it developed a trust. Uh, she developed a trust on that. But then what we found out was, as we laid against this room joist, and laid the back square, and then the laser shoots over to here. So if you can see that laser over there, that laser is, you know, you can see it moving. That's flat, that's with the back that is flat on the board of the device, and the laser itself then is off by, I would say, inch and a half. So it tells me my layout should shift inch and a half that way on that room joist. But they were laid out, I mean, I know the layout is fine with them laying on the floor, Pulling layout, you know, they're, 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 they're mirror images of each other. But I did not allow for this room to be a parallelogram. And so I think I may have an issue there. No big deal. I'll just set, set, the, uh, set the joists in here, square them up down there, and then they hit where they hit. And that's okay. But I'm going to try it. So I have this magic laser level here, this side, uh, 360 degree, uh, with all three planes because of the way they've oriented their lasers. So I know I'm level with my joist. I also have this line here, okay, and it goes all the way around to there. And off of this rim joist, 10 and 5 eighths, as well as 10 and 5 eighths. So that is now parallel with my rim joist. So I'm level with my rim joist, which is right now inconsequential. I am parallel with my rim joist. So therefore, this vertical line, which traces all the way over to there and comes down, that vertical line should then be perpendicular exactly to this. Therefore, if I take a measurement off of that wall to this line, and then over in this corner to that line, or you know, in, in all four corners, that should give me an idea if I am a parallelogram and how far my layout is off. It's not a big deal, but it's just, I'm bothered by the math and I didn't even think about that when I was laying stuff out hasn't hurt anything because I'll just square up the joists. But something to think about, right? Something to think about. And I don't frame every day. Uh, so, you know, for me, it's, you know, when I jump back into the framing game, I gotta think things through a little bit. And so some little detail like that, easy fix, but I don't think of it right off the bat. And is there a better way to, t to pull layout in order to account for maybe it's just wide in this corner, but this corner square with that. Although with this porch, I don't, ca I can't imagine anything is square with anything. So, because I saw the way it was built. Amazing it lasted a hundred and some odd years, but wow, you know? Okay, well, I'm going to check this out. One thing that occurred to me when I was editing this video is that I could have simply used my laser level and used that vertical line that you see in this shot and lined it up on the rim joist that the laser level is mounted to and lined it up with the corresponding layout mark on this rim joist that is in front of me in the video. And if they lined up, then I would have been square because I knew the, the laser level was uh, square, parallel, and perpendicular and all of that. So that occurred to me after the fact. I still would have backed it up with measurements, but it would have been a quick way to know that my layout was good and that I wasn't dealing with a parallelogram in the wall. <clears throat> 70 and 9 sixteenths, 70 and a half. Interesting. So, checking out this side. One eighteen and an eighth. One eighteen and a quarter. This room is fairly square per what I just did, assuming that my geometry is correct on this laser level. Huh. Oh well. Either way, put the joists in, square them up, and know that they're square.